amateur rules in the featherweight division. Scheduled for three three minute rounds and brought to you in association with Web Design in Stourbridge and Flow Fightwear. Your referee in charge of this one is Mr. Dan Motherheady. Introducing, first of all, fighting out of the blue corner. Representing Fearless MMA and making his debut, Micah Martibelli. And standing across the octagon, fighting out of the red corner. Representing Lions Gym and also making his debut, Mitchell. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Dan Mabahedi, the referee. Cage door set to close on this amateur featherweight contest. Both debuting athletes out of the blue corner. Micah Matraberry from Fearless MMA. He's in the black shorts and in the black Under Armour, making his debut representing Lions. Jim is Mitchell Monger, and again, not giving us a whole lot of time to introduce these guys. <laughs> Micah straight in there with a nice snappy oh, oh, big there he rocks in there. The oh, we clash of heads. heads here. I thought it was the, uh, yeah. the left hook actually that landed initially, but not going to argue with Mr. Dan Mother. Absolutely, one of the best in the business. absolutely. Get our second time going for me, please. Get our replay going for me, please. Just check into the clash of heads. We're just going to take a moment here for, as you can hear, Dan Motherhead, saying clash of heads. Fighter. I initially, th I initially thought it was a left hook that landed. Uh, yeah, from, I, uh, thought, I thought that he Micah, got but... staggered with, with that shot, but somebody in a far better position than me to, to see those things, and now... Yeah, we'll have to wait to see if we can get a replay on here, actually, to see... Uh, Perhaps in between rounds. Yeah. Well, but here we, we continue. Go. Absolutely. I'm not complaining either because this has got fireworks written all over it because they're standing and banging. Yeah, and this is what Monger wanted. He didn't want it to end there. And we absolutely start off where we finished off. Yeah, it's interesting. In uh, in an interview with Combat Sports UK, be uh, ahead of this fight, Micah said that fans are in for an, either an absolute war or a live decapitation so we're currently in that war stage I think yeah although he's chipping away it's not so much war as perhaps this is the the first assault <laughs> but just relentless with these takedowns as well yeah. beautiful work there I mean he's softening him up with those shots and then going back to that double leg takedown yeah he's just resting heavy on him not giving him a moment to breathe Monger done well to get up. Got it. You can't keep eating these shots, though. No, he's absolutely relentless here as well. Michael, I mean, it'd be interesting to see if this does go further than his first round, what his gas tank's like, because he's absolutely unloading with these shots up against the fence so far. Yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure it's easier to feel better about yourself when you go into the <laughs> corner, finishing around like he started this one. I mean, he's on rubber legs now, it looks like, is Mitchell Monger. Yeah, it's just absolutely relentless. I mean, I can't remember the last time I saw a, uh, a, a pace like this, and there we go. He's seen enough of the action. Like, I mean, he hasn't even broken a sweat yet. You know... <laughs> for, that, for those who can't see Steve here, Penn's thrown down onto the desk. He's just in absolute disbelief. <laughs> It's, it's like he hasn't even warmed up. And for a minute and 45 seconds, he was working like a Trojan. Absolutely. I mean, he, he literally was relentless from the very first bell until Dan Overhead, he pulled him off there. It's just... Well, he did. He, he told us, I'm going to be relentless. Yeah, and he Let, certainly was. He lived up to that promise. Got some things to learn, not lead with the head quite so often, but his aggression straight away is a frightening prospect. 
Most definitely. And he, uh, I think Michael Matibiri is uh, a name that we'll be hearing quite a lot of in the future. I think he's got a great team behind him there with Fearless yeah. as well. I mean, Vaughan Lee in the corner, got Jake Hadley, Andy Yates, some fantastic guys trained there. Ryan Hewitt, of course. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic team at Team Fearless. So, yeah, I think uh, I think Michael's got a yeah, Ladies and future. gentlemen, your winner as a result of a TKO coming one minute and 48 seconds into round number one. for his opponent, oh, Mitchell Munger. Confident, confident young featherweight prospect there. And he made that look, he made that look easy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by your winner, Micah Matibari. Micah, your debut, and you certainly came out of the traps last there. Absolutely relentless from the, from the first bell. Was that the plan all along? On the plan, man. I caught it online. I told him it's either going to be a war, decapitation. And you saw this man's head go flying everywhere, bro. So you know I don't play around now. And the thing that me and Steve are saying on commentary is it looks like you haven't even broken a sweat. I mean, you're absolutely relentless in there. Punches in bunches, and uh, you look like you could go another 25 minutes. Oh. If they want me in the main event too, I jump in, bro. If anyone pulls out, I'm there. You know I'm always ready, man. That's, that's the number one thing my team works on. Conditioning, making sure you can go the extra mile, because without conditioning, you're going to lose. And I showed that, you know, I wanted it more than him, man. Like, I wasn't willing to give him a breath. You know, it's not about taking your time. I went, I went in there to kill him. And that's the main mission, and I got it done, so. So what's the plan going forward now? Obviously, you got your debut under your belt. Uh, finish this in the first round. Are you looking to get back in there quite quickly, or are you going to just wait and see what happens? Straight back in, bro. Straight back in. This is a ruthless game. People always trying to get on top. Always trying to improve. And if I got to be number one, I got to keep going, bro. So I'm gonna keep it going. Be back in the ASAP. Like, watch. I'm telling you, bro. This is my comeback. Everyone, keep watching. I'm telling you, I'm next up for real. I'm not playing, man. Stop playing with me. This is serious. Ladies and gentlemen, absolutely fantastic performance. Let's give it.